Hi guys, I'm Beth, this is Read Remark, and today I'm going to talk about Taryn Fisher's newest book, The Wives. I'm a big fan of Taryn Fisher. She wrote one of my favorite trilogy, the Love Me With Lies trilogy, which follows a lovelorn woman pining after a man and the bad woman that he chose instead. So this book is kind of a similar vein. It follows a lovelorn woman who's married to a man who happens to also have two other wives. Yes, it is a plural marriage book. However, it's not the regular kind of like, if you watch one of those reality TV shows on TLC about the wives who all live together happily and they're like, oh, we all just love our husband. This is different from that. This one is more of a thriller. In this book, our narrator, the main character, does not know the other wives. She's never met them. They are shrouded in secrecy, and um, her only relationship is with her husband on Thursdays. You could think of it as three wives, one Seth. <laughs> as I read through it, I saw that Seth is really no catch. He's kind of... Uh, I don't understand why this wife is so obsessed with him. She's obsessed with him. Um, I don't get it. I don't get what the draw is because he does not seem like that big of a catch. But there are a couple things in the book that kind of suggest why she might feel that way. One is her own mother. Her mother pines after her father the same way that she pines after Seth and is often saying things like, you need to quit your job so you can be there for your man, or you need to take care of your man, or basically completely subvert herself for his pleasure. Her whole existence would be for his pleasure. And so that's what she's grown up with, that's what she's always known, and so maybe that's what she's bringing into her marriage with Seth, this weird, weird marriage that she does not seem okay with, but yet agreed to. Another reason is that um, the do in it is really good. We don't get a lot of sex scenes in it, but we, it does talk frankly about the fact that the sex between them is really good. Good enough, she even admits during the book to kind of overshadow some more important things that they may have missed, that they really should have figured out beforehand. The third thing is that she kind of seems to like hashtag winning. <laughs> She talks about some of the different things that Seth does with her that he doesn't do with his wives, um, like drinking alcohol or stuff like that. And so she kind of secretly, despite her best intentions, she kind of secretly thrills at the thought of being the one he loves the best, being the one that he wants the most. She, it's almost like a competition to her, like if she can't have them all to herself, then at least she can be the best one. Even with all of these things put together, it seems like she still was very resentful towards him and the situation. So it seemed a little bit, uh, a little bit absurd to me why she would accept that. Now throughout the story, there are some twists and turns. Um, something happens that completely turns it on its head and turns it from more of a domestic book into more of a thriller the story twists i'm not going to tell you what the twist is because that would be to give it away of course but i will say that everything changes and what i thought i was reading turned into something else i don't know if taryn fisher usually does thrillers or if this is kind of a new um, entry for her i haven't read enough of her work to know for sure but one theme that i'm kind of seeing that I'm still kind of wrapping my head around. Between the trilogy I mentioned before and The Wives, I've noticed that um, there's a lot of women hating other women and living only for the man. It's this thing that the character in the book, The Wives, kind of railed against. Like, we should not just live for our mans, we should live for ourselves. And then she goes and lives only for the man. Same thing with um, the trilogy that I read before. These women were completely at odds against each other the whole time, always pining after this man, who in hindsight is a little bit wishy-washy and really should have had the better judgment to pick the right person in the first place and stick to his guns. It's kind of like women um, fighting one another and being evil 
just so they can get this guy who's really not a catch at all. So it's a little bit weird to me. I don't know, it, it almost kind of dirtied the experience of the trilogy that I loved so much to see this commonality between the two of women working against women. Um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm working that through in my head. I'm still a Taryn Fisher fan. I'm going to read some more of hers just to make sure that I'm not looking into it weirdly, which I probably am. Um, but that was a little bit, eh, to me. Eh, eh, eh. I don't know. I don't know. It just, it, it rubs me weirdly when I see that women are all, if there's a book in which women are all, um, evil or conniving or backstabbing because not all women are like that just like not all men are cheating hoes so <laughs> I don't know I don't know there's there's stuff to figure out in my own mind with that the thing that ultimately made me not love this book and let me say I read this book very quickly because I was so invested in it. It was very compelling. It was interesting. The thing that really got me and kind of turned me in eh, was the very, very end. I finished it and I was like, really? Really? My husband even was sitting right next to me and he was like, oh, I think I smell a bad review coming up. <laughs> this isn't a bad review, but I really didn't like the way the story ended. So... You know, as I'm talking through it, it sounds like I did not like the book at all because basically we're, we're spending a bunch of time in this plural marriage for God knows what reason because the woman doesn't seem to have ever wanted to be part of it and she's pining over this man who is really not a catch and the ending is very frustrating. Despite all of those things, I was still very interested in the book. It was a very interesting and compelling read. Maybe it's because I was expecting redemption or catharsis or a neat little happy ending that would wrap everything up in a nice bow. Which this isn't, which is okay. Except for here, it wasn't. <laughs> so, um, good book. I was frustrated by it, but it was good. That's a very wishy-washy review. So read it if you'd like to and let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching as I kind of stammer through my thoughts. I appreciate it as always, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Hi. Um the wives. <laughs> <laughs>